I'm still the quote of the day. A happy man is too satisfied with the present. Hey, it's Josh, and you're watching Josh Tube, and this is what's going on on Friday. Um, that's a whole mill complex over there where that where that smokestack is. And I was working right right in that complex. We had to carry buckets of sand and water up like three flights of sand. Einstein quote of the day, a happy man is too satisfied with the present to dwell too much on the future. Hey, it's Josh, and you're watching Josh Tube, and this is what's going on on Friday. Um, That's a whole mill complex over there where that, where that smokestack is, and I was working right, right in that complex. We had to carry buckets of sand and water up like three flights of stairs. There's something in there. It's crazy. Where's that? In the uh, smokestack? Yeah, there's a big bird up on the top of it. I can't get a clear shot, but... Snakes well, I was thinking the eagle because um, they they like high up roosting spots. You want to see my shoulders, man, so you can see them? <laughs> <laughs> I have friends that used to climb up to the top of that. It's a little nuts for me. My beard. <laughs> Sorry. Damn, I got a dirty lens. <laughs> this means that when I get my arrears, I'm going to be getting some high end equipment. And uh, I thank my wife, Kristen McDonald, for buying it for me. And um, and all, it's um, going to be a great addition and hopefully something that completely revolutionizes what I do as far as video goes and trying to have my own, like, video type show going. So anyway, let me um, just kind of show you what Miss Vidacres looks like in the other direction. So yeah, um, and what I'm going to try and do is, yeah, uh, are we still recording? Let me check. Yeah, we're still recording. So, um, one of the things that I've not been able to do in a while, because there's always someone around here at Misfit Acres, I had the difficulty of being able to get a loan, um, and to try to get back into the reading of vlogging the reading of stuff, apps, stuff off Facebook, vlogging, that type of thing. And one of the things that's really going to help is this camera that's here on the laptop, you know, right up there. And that will basically allow me to, um, I'm a pooping. Yep, that's right. I'm pooping. That's right. I just pooped. Tonight is now friends with Kayla Seymour and Donna Churchill. Oh yeah, did you hear her and Tony and Josh are beefing? This guy looks like the dude from um the. Hand so from CNN, Twinkies, Nutty Bars, Powdered Donuts, for 10 weeks, Mark Hobb, a professor of human nutrition, is 174 pounds. Oh, maybe that... But you might expect other indicators of health would have suffered. Not so. Hobb is bad 8.8, .8, considered overweight to 24.9, which is normal. He now weighs 174 pounds. Center on May 22nd at 2011 at 10 a.m.
Jacqueline D just keeps throwing up a whole bunch of Missy. Like one of Tony's status reports was like, screw you, Kristen, that kind of thing. A professor of human nutrition at Kansas State University dropped 20% and his good cholesterol or HDL increased by 20%. He reduced the level of triglycerides, which are a form of fat. Oh, uh, maybe that. But you might expect other indicators of health would have suffered. Not so. Hub is bad. do that right now. I can't really do that in the space of an hour. Um, down here is at Gulrana. Uh, she's speaking in her native language. Watching Faith Journey. It's Josh. Uh, I just got back from dinner with our new pastors over at New Beginnings Christian Church. Um, while this song's playing, I'm going to just read random stuff while the pages for the trends that I'm trying to read are loading. At four o'clock this afternoon, which is in half an hour, I'm done reading anything and everything. I spent one hour reading, and then I'm going to try and edit everything and get it out by tonight. Yeah, right, right? Uh-huh. The other thing on this camera is, um, is a previous attempt I made at trends and then get distracted, majorly distracted. So we're going to try and include all that in together and try to make note of what is previous to today as having trended and our story that we did on it and, um, try and get it out there tonight as well and kind of have it be like a collected trends thing. But anyway, um, Captain Julie Ryan has road closed on her nose, detour in her sinuses, rough road in her throat, loose gravel in her lungs, and fog conditions possible on her forehead. Captain F Kayla M. Fallon, grilled cheese and soup sounds right. I'm going to read three at a time and then move on. This is from Facebook. Captain Julie Ryan feels like she has been ran over by an 18-wheeler. They backed up over me, went forward over me again, and drove off. Should I file for a hit and run? And in my email, Welcome to Forsaken World Closed Beta Phase 4. At long last, Phase 4 of Forsaken World's closed beta testing has begun. This phase marks the opening of the floodgates to anyone who wants to get their hands on Forsaken World before the full launch of the game. This means that you and all of your friends, regardless of whether a beta key has been redeemed, can test out Forsaken World during this phase. Phase 4 has, 4 has launched with some major enhancements to the overall gameplay of Forsaken World. The biggest addition is the inclusion of a brand new PvE-oriented servers. If you're into teaming up with other players in a PvE-heavy turn environment, the Storm and Lionheart servers are for you. If you're more into the PvP aspect of gameplay, then the Erida, Erida PvP server will still be available, along with any characters you have, may have created on it. On top of that, a new auction house system has been implemented. The new auction house will simplify the process of buying and selling everything from crafting materials to weapons and armor. Additionally, Phase 4 has opened up additional realms on each server that will alleviate congestion in crowded areas and make gathering materials for crafting professions easier than ever before. As our final phase of closed beta testing, we expect Phase 4 to be the biggest testing period yet. If you haven't had a chance to try out Forsaken World yet, then now is your best opportunity. Download the game, log in today, and begin your quest to redeem the world of Irda. I have the cash in my pocket. That's a bald eagle. That's flying.